guys and welcome to day 20 of Vlogmas. Today's video is dedicated to those who like to side hustle, make that extra money, but not necessarily leave the house. We are going to be covering 10 side hustles that you can do from the comfort of your own home. Today's video is also a collaboration with Sarah over at Abundantly Minimal. She and I have communicated over email and phone conversations and we've each come up with our own respective list of side hustles that you can do from home. So once this video is done, go ahead and check out her channel. I will have both her channel and her video linked at the end of this video. If you like these kind of side hustle or make extra money videos, let me know by giving this one a thumbs up. And if you are new here, welcome. Go ahead and click that little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a new video onto this channel. Without any further ado, here are my top 10 lists of side hustles that you can do from home. Number one is selling unused clothing and household items on websites such as Facebook and Poshmark. There are several other sites, but if you just take the time to clean out your closets, your drawers, see what you're not using and that could be donated or sold, you can make a little bit of extra money out of the comfort of your home. If you currently do that, please let me know what websites work the best in your experience down below in the comments. I know that Facebook has a bunch of like local to certain cities and resell groups. Let me know what website you're using if you're reselling unused items. Number two is tutoring or teaching an online class. Anything as personal as a Skype conference meeting to teaching classes on Skillshare will make you a little bit extra side income. There are various websites that are looking for online tutors and teachers. Go ahead and search Google for your expertise and see what classes need teachers online. Number three is virtual assistant. If you're organized and able to multitask, i.e. able to help do administrative duties, set up meetings, manage company websites, or editing social media content, being a virtual assistant could be the job for you. Places to find these types of work are upwork.com. I will have that link listed down below in the description box. Number four is to teach English online. There is a website called onlinetutoringjobs.com. They are always looking for teachers, specifically those who have English as a first language who are willing to teach in an electronic classroom. This allows you to make your lesson plans and teach out of the comfort of your own home. Number five is transcriptionist. Basically, you type out audio reports into text documents. I would recommend this job only to those who have the patience to sit down and type for long periods of time and who are able to type several words per minute. Websites such as Transcribe Me will be listing transcriptionist jobs as they become available. Number six is social media management. Essentially, you help out big companies keep up their social media accounts. Career Builder and Simply Hired are two sites that list when these companies have vacancies for those kind of jobs. Number seven are data entry positions. Essentially, you help big businesses log information into their specific data bases. Organization and good typing skills are big priorities here. Upwork.com will have several data entry jobs available. Number eight is childcare at home. If you enjoy children and have a safe home environment, consider having some children over a few days a week to make a little bit of extra pocket change. Number nine, of course, is YouTube and social media. You make money in several different ways. I have a separate video on the various ways to make money on YouTube that I will link down below for anybody who is interested on how people make money sitting in front of a camera in their home. And number 10 is affiliate marketing. You promote products on various sites and collect a small commission fee when customers make purchases there. For example, I am an Amazon affiliate member. If you purchase anything through my affiliate link listed down below in the description box, I make a very small, usually two to three percent commission off those purchases. And I can assure you 100% of all those go to maintaining this website. But if it's not, it could be a way for you to make a little bit of extra money. I will also link down below in the description box a video I did several months ago. It's a video on full-time jobs you can do from the comfort of your own home. If you're looking for something that makes a little bit more money or something you could essentially live off of, I will have that listed down below in the description box. Feel free to check it out if you are looking for more full-time work you can do out of the comfort of your own home. But those are my top 10 side hustles that you can do from home. Once again, this is a collab with Sarah over at Abundantly Minimal. Her information will be listed in the end screen of this video, so make sure to check that out. Let me know down below if you have any other side hustles that you have found success in that bring in a little bit of extra money to you every single month, and I wish you the best. Happy holidays, keep doing that side hustle work, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. One more thing, you guys. This year, I have been nominated for a Broadway World Award for Best Leading Actress in a Musical from when I did Pirates of Penzance, and voting is open from now until December 31st. All you have to do to cast a vote is enter a valid email address. 
go down, click continue. I will be category number six, best leading actress in a musical. You can click continue through all of them. You'll find my name in category six. And bonus points, if you can find my boyfriend, Chris Rusin, he'll be in category 26. Once you click through all the categories, you'll enter your name, your email address, you'll select no to receive any future updates, then you just click finish and you are done. Once again, voting is open from now until December 31st. Please share this with anybody who you would know would like to support the arts and I'll see you guys tomorrow.